My name is Brendan O'Kirwan and I drive a Mercedes-Benz 280 SL. It's a different type of experience to a normal car. Yes, you can smell it, the oil, the petrol, the everything about these cars. It takes over your senses and particularly open top driving, you're, it's in your hair. You can hear it in the engine when you turn it on, you can feel it. You can, and particularly in this particular car here. It's when you look at it, it's the lines of it, it's the chrome, it's the leather, it's the whole lot. This car was bought in April 1969. Then it passed on to another person, Gene Zimmerman, who lived in the Cape Cod area. The car then passed to an English couple, and they are the ones who brought it back to the UK. Um, and then it passed to John Anthony Dobbins. Um, his collection of cars, I think he took a number of them over to Spain where he retired. I bought it through a showroom in Yorkshire. Um, and that car then came to Ireland. So it's been through the US to the UK to Spain to Ireland. So it's a well-traveled car. I remember seeing it, um, a friend, a neighbor, who was a neighbor at the time and a friend now. The 230 SL that he had, he parked outside our, my house. And I remember just thinking at the time that this was just, it was just captured a whole era. It captured the 60s, it captured um, it in a design. Nowadays, uh, aerodynamics take over. Whereas this wasn't really about efficiency, it was about how it looked. It, uh, carries over a lot of the design features from the previous cars the curves on the from the headlights which run back to the just under the windscreen there's that bulge in the bonnet other things that are in the car that re i really like is just when you sit into it it's not current cars again it's a, it's like a christmas tree when you turn on the ignition it's all lights whereas this is all chrome is what you notice about it it is the display of, of the different gauges and uh, they're all, you know, surrounded by chrome bezels. One of the things about this car, it's, um, it was a fairly complete jigsaw. Um, most of the pieces were present and that's what, liked, uh, what I liked about it. Um, a couple of things were missing. The toolkit was missing and um, it was one of those eBay journeys trying to find the different pieces that were missing. It seems like a small thing, but these are the things that um, I like, little details. 
There's a Mesco Hauser um, tire gauge and it is something that is quite hard to find. Um, it has Mercedes-Benz engraved on it. Uh, it's difficult to find and I found one and it's in good condition. These are small little details, but they, they make it interesting for me. And one of the things that was quite nice is my dad had a, uh, one of these warning triangles from that period of time. And um, I have it now as part of the kit. It would have been available at the same time as this car came out. So it's just, it's nice to have that included in it as well. It's the only car that I can think of in that era, in the 60s, that was actually extremely comfortable and it drives very like a modern car. drive it, you just feel it, you know, 